Hello people that in the house are doing. So I just want to talk for for a second. People might be like, what's why is this tied to this? Um the destruction of the Irish countryside. So basically, um straight off the bat, you know, plastic has ruined um the rivers and lakes around Ireland because the like the seas around Ireland, like the Irish Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, it's full of plastic. Um rivers and lakes are no exception, like they're full of plastic, the full up to the max with plastic. Um, and different materials, bags of rubbish thing at the bottom of some of some lakes and rivers and um and, you know it's a disgrace. Like for example there was a pond in Carvin. Um and it obviously with the hot weather it dried up. It dried up and this was in the in you know in a lovely area with loads of mountains in the middle of nowhere really, a few houses around it. But um yeah, so it dried up a bit, it dried up a bit so there was not much your know, water left. And um and you know they put a uh, obviously you could see the bar you could see what was on the bottom obviously, um and you know six or seven black bags were put out of it, um so you know that that's just showing you you know how much respect some people have for the, for the local um for the local community and obviously for the local environment for the local countryside because this was in the in the countryside in the Cameron countryside, um and this is typical like you know right across Ireland every country world. You see a black bag of rubbish, you see a couch, you see a fridge, you see loads of these disgusting things just thrown out in the middle of the road. Um, with no concern for the environment, with no concern for the local locality. Um, you know, you just see these thrown out there like nobody really cares. Um, you just see them thrown out in the beautiful green grass of Ireland. Um, and you see them in mountaintops, you see them everywhere. Um, every beautiful location, like there's riverside locations and they're filled up with rubbish lying everywhere beside rivers and everything, beautiful cabin spots and everything like that. Um, and they're filled up to the brink of rubbish around the whole areas. Um, you see historical landmarks around castles and things like that. I've seen it. I've seen you know, people throw fridges beside La Couta Castle. Um, you know, on the other side, not on the island itself, but you know, in the locality on the other side of La Couta Castle, looking at the castle, and that's the disgrace. Um, they have just people you know because that's a very popular tourist tourist attraction, um, and it's a disgrace that people do it and like it's this like you you know it's just you can't you can't find the words, um, like you know you walk you walk down a beautiful countryside road right you walk down a lovely countryside road with loads of trees and loads of green grass and everything, um, and you know everywhere you look it's just rubbish and rubbish and rubbish and little and, and the majority of it is plastic the majority of it is plastic. Um, and that's why I always say they shouldn't have got rid of the glass bottles. They should have always kept the glass bottles. I keep saying bottles the wrong way, but I know. Um, but they shouldn't have got rid of it. They shouldn't have got rid of them. Um, because even if they did, like, if they did crack in the wall, it would have been, like, it's a bigger mess with the plastic, more or less, than with the glass bottles. Because you do find glass bottles. I do find a lot of glass bottles, especially alcohol bottles, wine bottles. You do find them on the side of the wall, in ditches and in shocks and things like that. But it's not as like plastic Lucas said Barkers are actually the cause, the cause of this country. Um Coke and Lucas said Barkers because they're everywhere. They're literally floating on every side of every water on every part of the countryside. And it's a disgrace to see this. Um to see this happen to the countryside, the beautiful Irish countryside. Like many countries in forests and in, in forests too. It's a disgrace what happens to forests. It's, um they just fire rubbish in at entrances to forests. Um it's a disgrace and you know not caring less for the environment, not caring less for you know the local local people, not caring less who get what what happens to the rubbish, you know, and and above all, not caring really less for themselves, and not caring less for their country, um, if they're willing to do that, you know, because at the same time, you know, you our like Ireland's a beautiful country. Ireland's there's no other country. You have to admit it. There's no other country in the world can match Ireland in beauty, in beauty, both in its rivers and lakes, its countryside. There's no country in the world, and we should be very very thankful. For our, for our countryside and for our beautiful landscape we have. Um, and, you know, I do take nowadays, people do take it for granted and people do take it as a dumping site, um, a field in the, in the middle of nowhere where it's lovely and beautiful. You know, people take it as a dumping site. And I'm just saying to people, you know, have some respect. Simple that, have some respect. A bit of respect, you know, goes a long way. A bit of respect for the environment, a bit of respect for the people who live in that local area and a bit of respect for yourself goes a long, long way. Um... And it's just simple as that, like, you know, and in two, the local authorities have to be blamed for it, because you, you, tell the, you tell local authorities about the rubbish, and sure, you might as well go and tell the world, you know what I'm saying, because the world really doesn't really, the world listen to you more than the, you know, the local authorities, and that's too because the government won't fund them, 
Um, and obviously there's not as many council men and there's not many council as there used to be years ago. There used to be a lot more people in the council than there is nowadays. Um, and it's the same with everything. The government just what people does to work for nothing, more or less. Um, and you know, and, and the majority of this, like in the town or in the village, it does fall on the tiny town groups to do it. Um, and that's not right. That's not right. Because especially could be stick, could be st if the, in the black bite, there could be needles and there could be things like that. Um, you just don't know. And that's always something you have to be careful. Um, like I tell you, I said this before, but a few months ago when this, um, when this poor young lad got caught up and, you know, in Dublin and uh, put into bin bags, in other words, and it was, it was a disgusting thing to see. It was a disgusting thing to do to a child. Um, these gags that should have been shot. So it was that. These gags that should have been shot. Um, you know, after that, we was well, we have to check in bags just to check and see the body parts or anything like that. I know it's a very, very gruesome thing to say. But it really does have to be done, and it's just gruesome. Um... You know, things like that, you know, it's just, you know, bricks are hard to see that. And it always, it's something that always, you know, you're always afraid every time you see a black bag because you never know what could be in it. Um, and that's what I say to tell you groups too. And, you know, it is a responsibility in the characters really to do it too. Um, but, yeah, just be safe, everybody. Take care and, yeah, bye.